Saturday morning and I finally have my car back it looks great the guy who fixed it did a really great job of um, fixing all the damage to it um, I told you guys about the raccoon I think I forgot to mention that like a couple of days after the raccoon I also backed into a mailbox um, I am fully aware that I am not the best driver in the world and I was like really upset to have to tell John um, not only do we have to get the front of the car fixed from the raccoon, but now the trunk is dented in. But it's all fixed. It looks great. I'm so happy to be driving it again. I'm actually headed to my parents' house right now. I'm going to get some one-on-one -on -one time with them this morning. Um, we are going to a local bakery to order my sister's graduation cake. My sister, my little sister, is actually in nursing school and she just finished and her capping ceremony as well as her actual graduation will be very soon. Um, so we're going to go order her cake and then we are going to go um, to this huge farmer's market that we have in the area. So I'll show you some of that.
little trip to the farmer's market. I got some of this homemade cinnamon raisin bread. And I got some of this homemade bruschetta. I get this every time I come here. I love it so much. It's called Yaz Best Bruschetta. Sometimes I eat it on bread. Other times I just eat it like salsa. And then I also got, I don't want to unwrap that, but got some other salsa. And then this in here is a little present for John Stocking. So I'm not going to show that because he's going to watch this and I don't want him to know what it is. But we had a successful shopping trip. Everybody got lots of good stuff and now we're headed out. Now I don't know if there's anything more attractive than a man mopping your floors for you. Somebody's gotta do it. Links, babe. Mwah. Josie. So you did some at the farmer's market? Did what? Locked. Yes. That's good. Josie, daddy's leaving us again. He's got on his work attire. Yeah, don't show that. <laughs> Did you see it? No. Sure. You got it, Kevin. Okay, oh, no, like now it. you can take it off. Take your hand off of your boob. Well, John's leaving again. Mm -hmm. So, for the millionth time in forever, it will just be me and the fur babies. I'm going to go to my parents' house for dinner tonight, so I'll film some then. But I wish it was some more time with my husband. I wish too. I'm like closer on you than I normally would be just so I don't show your shirt. The schedule's been crazy. Yep. So, probably off by 9.30 tonight. Well, that's a little earlier than you have been. Yeah, a little bit. That's good. Alright. Bye, YouTube. John is on his way to work. And like I said... It's just me and the babies again. Um, I'm going to go to my parents' house tonight for dinner, spend some more time with them, as well as my sister. Um, I went to the farmer's market this morning that you saw with my parents, and came back here, spent a few hours with John, we cleaned up the house some, um, cleaned the carpets and things like that. Um, but, you know, one of the main reasons were doing these vlogs is is just you know how um how much we've seen how great it is for all of these um couples who are vlogging who now get to spend so much more time together you know our schedules just so happen to work out currently where um if i'm working a regular day and i'm not working late into the night he is and vice versa if i if i have a weekend off He's going to work, he doesn't have it off, and um, the weekends that he has off, it seems like I always have to work. Um, we're both in the event industry, so I guess that's just how it works, but um, it just sucks, especially being a newlywed. It just, I, I wish I had more time with him. Obviously, he's my best friend in the entire world, and I miss him every time he's gone. Um, but, you know, so that's probably the top reason we really want to do these vlogs and have them be successful. But, you know, among other reasons are that I've just seen how much good these vlogs can do. Um, how inspiring people can be for other people. Um, how much they can do for others once they have, you know, more time on their hands. Uh, we were just watching Colin and Katie's vlog the other day where Colin was in his old car and he found um, the bracelet that said make videos every day on it and he said that he had that on um, his stick shift in his car because he would look at it every day on his way to his desk job just to remind him of you know why he was working so hard in these videos and um, what he had to look forward to and so I just I really want to try to put vlogs up more often um, I don't know how long it'll be till I'm able to do vlogs every single day, but I would like to. Um, I just want to make sure that we have interesting content for you guys, you know. I don't, especially with our full-time jobs, I mean, you've seen a couple of our vlogs where um, 
it's just footage of us at home in the evenings because that's really all we were able to film. But, I mean, maybe we should just film what we can and try to get something up every single day. I, I want to, you know, create an internet family like all these other vloggers have and, you know, really make people happy and just affect them in a good way. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many times I started watching YouTube in high school and how many times watching um, the Shaytards or, you know, as um, all my vlogging subscriptions have grown, watching Colin and Katie, Samika, um, The Knife Knowles, uh, The Daily Bumps, Ellie and Jared, um, Lindsay and Phil, and I'm sure there's people mm -hmm. I'm forgetting, um, April's Life, I mean, I watch so many different vloggers and they all, it's just, it just makes you happy to watch them. It just makes you feel good and um, just, I want to do that for people. I want to be there, you know, if you've had a bad day and you come home and you just kind of want to escape for a few minutes, watch somebody else's life for a few minutes and just forget about the day that you've had. I, you know, I want John and I to be able to do that for people um, and he does as well. We want to be your friends, your family, just like, you know, I've, we all feel like those who we are subscribed to are our friends and family and we care about them so much and they care about all of um, their subscribers so much. I want that so badly. I want to be able to make a difference in, a, in the world and I want to be able to spend more time with my husband. I don't want to be stuck in a cubicle the rest of my life. Um, I'm very grateful and, and blessed to have the job that I do and so is John and we both completely understand that you know there's not people in the world there are people in the world who don't have any other option and um, you know but we just pray that vlogging will take off for us and that this is what we can do um, YouTube is what I'm passionate about you know everyone in life hopes that they can do what they love and um, YouTube is something that I love. It's a community I really want to be a part of and um, really want to help grow. So if you're watching and anything that I've said has spoken to you or you've liked anything that you've seen, um, you know, check out some of our other videos, see what you think, subscribe, give us a chance, you know. If you end up not liking our videos for whatever reason, you don't have to stay. You can unsubscribe. It's not a permanent decision. It's not a decision that costs you any money, but I guess I'm just asking that you give us a chance. And um, we'd love to have you. So, see you guys again in a little bit. Bye. Hello, my mom's cooking. These are our sirloins from the farmer's market. And what we got in here? Pizza. Beet caps. And then we got the actual beets from the farmer's market over here. A yummy salad. The Brussels sprouts from the farmer's market. And baked potatoes. Potatoes. Looks delicious. And Aunt Maggie has vino. This is my sister. She hates being in any kind of pictures or film. But she's beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Just hanging out with the fam. This is Zeus, and this is Roxy. Roxy, sit. Sit, baby. They have their Christmas scarves on. They look so nice, and they're good friends with Jojo. Right, Josie? Fino's a little bit scared of everybody. Here's my parents' Christmas tree. I don't know why it won't focus. Focus, camera. And their pretty mantle. Josie, what are you doing? <laughs> she is literally walking on my sister's leg to attempt to get to the food. That's some real talent, Joe. Back it up. <laughs> Vino's just hiding from the big dogs with grandma. Yes, hi baby. 
So daddy's home now mm -hmm. and got to see the little sweater that grandma made for Vino. She crocheted it and it fits him so good. It'll keep him warm. It'll keep him warm. Probably you'll hear hold him and block no, your... It's from the same yarn <laughs> that my mom made John a hat with <laughs> last year. Actually, my sister made that one, didn't she? Mm -hmm. So they match. Daddy and Vino. They match. <laughs> now what's Daddy doing? Jojo, what's your crazy Daddy doing? I'm chewing on the camera cord. Is that what you doing? <laughs> Pull it down over your ears. Pull your hat over your ears. There you go. Vino, what's, <laughs> what's on daddy's face? What's on daddy's face? Hold on. I have to I'm gonna zoom in so that when I <laughs> let go of the camera cord, let it go. <laughs> I'm distracted. <laughs> so, John, John has always wanted to be able to grow a beard. I'm holding this because... And, she, I, you can't see it. I'm zoomed in. Um, John has always wanted to be able to grow a beard, and he just can't. No matter how hard he tries, he just has his little goatee, which I love. Uh -huh. He's so handsome. Uh -huh. But my sister knitted him that hat and that beard last year so that he could have a beard. And now he's little puppy dog has oh wrong way that looks like we're running out of time say good night everybody see ya do you punish yourself like